oh my god, I look so tired. <laughs> it is Thanksgiving today. Just chilling here on the floor, trying to get some calm before the storm with my little Lily. We love to do this in the morning. She she hangs out in my office. She really like runs my office. And um, oftentimes in the morning, I just like to come in here and chill with her before I start the day. But it's Thanksgiving. It's super exciting. Can't believe we're going into holiday season. It's crazy. Josh and I went to TJ Maxx and got like a bunch of Christmas day core and stuff last night. It's just crazy. I was gonna be with my mom's side of the family today during the day, but some things happened and everything was canceled, so nothing's going on. So during the day, Josh and I are just actually cooking because tonight we're going to my dad's and I told him I'd bring over bread. I normally, I've been making bread for Thanksgiving since high school. So we're gonna keep it really low key and then go over to his and his girlfriend's house tonight. Um, and my sister will be there and Josh's brother will be there and maybe some other people. So should be pretty mellow, but I need to get down there and start cooking. We gotta start cooking. Josh got me some type of holiday drink from Starbucks. I think it's, he said it was like toasted something. I think it's toasted white chocolate mocha, it says. It's pretty good, pretty sweet though. <laughs> Hi, Bubba. Look, we're still not completely decorated in here. But I got some Christmas decorations last night. TJ Maxx, y'all. That's what's that. I also got um, this cute reindeer and this tree, which I loved. Happy Thanksgiving, Josh Eldor. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Trying a different recipe today, but one teaspoon of sugar, or two teaspoons. Here's the other one. So then we have one tablespoon of active dry yeast. that. Okay, so then one teaspoon of salt and then we just need warm water. So one cup and then a fourth. All right. Now that just needs to stay there like a bubbly disgusting mess while nature takes its course. And after you leave it for about five minutes it starts to look like that. Very odd looking. The recipe that I'm following this year, because I totally forgot what recipe I used to use, um, calls for one fourth of olive oil at this stage, which I've never done, but we'll see how this turns out. And I'm also gonna bake it slightly higher since we are at um, altitude here in Colorado. You have to cook and bake a little differently. I honestly should have used like a high altitude recipe, but this is fine. Got you love, where you at? This recipe says to mix it until flaky, but not combined. No surprise here, the Virgo is in full panic mode. <laughs> All holidays, he's like, we do not have enough time. He's like calculating the amount of time we have. Yeah, because you just need to relax. We're gonna get it all done. I know, but we're just going to my dad's house. It's okay. We're not gonna be late, dude. We have like five hours. If you guys have seen that movie, what's it called again? I forget. Sausage Party. Sausage Party. Yeah. Where he's like peeling the potatoes yeah, and like, like screaming. I got low key like really upset during that part though. That was so fun. I remember last time I was like having an anxiety attack because all yeah. the like food was dying. Wow, that sounds pathetic. So we are just gonna cover that here with a towel and let that sit for about 20 minutes. Right, Bubba? It's satisfying for me as a Virgo to peel potatoes because I do it very methodically. Yes. So that you get all of it. Yeah, extremely well done. Great A shit. I never understood that. Who tells like scary stories at Christmas? Isn't that Halloween? I think it's just an old thing. Or maybe it's like Scrooge, like the ghost of yeah, Christmas well, back past. In Back in the day when you didn't have TV and radio, like, Story. they just told stories on the church. It sounds so boring. They didn't even have, like, the, the classic Christmas Yeah, like, think about, like, the 1800s, like. The books. Hi, baby, you coming out? Hi. Look how much better Lily is with Bernie now. She, like, definitely deals with him a lot better. Lily, Lily why are you on the counter? Get down. Get down. Go. Shoo. You're gonna have to go move her, dude. Shoo. Shoot, get She doesn't listen. She takes her sweet ass time. Yeah. Get down. Get down. I don't think she feels comfortable getting down on that chair. She needs to go the other one. Yeah. Down, down. No. Lily. Lily. So 
So I'll link both of these recipes below, but basically this, it, you make this like cream sauce and this is Borson cheese. Looks like this. Josh and I had to like search all over the grocery store to find it yesterday. But um, yeah, I'm just melting those in with some heavy cream and salt and pepper. So then I put a little egg white wash over it, which is like egg whites over the top. And then I always like to do a little bit of salt on the top, some coarse salt, like sea salt. And then it goes in the oven. Hopefully this turns out okay. And I was just reading the recipe and she said she's at high altitude too. So I think we're gonna be good with 20 minutes on this. Okay, so now we're using a mandolin. This is hard to do on camera and probably dangerous. I should turn this off, but it makes it a lot easier to get slices if you've never used one. So the bread turned out beautifully, but my genius husband over here decided it would be a good idea to test test it by sticking his whole finger in it. Look at that, dude. Like people are gonna be like, so who stuck their finger in that? Just say Santa. Santa? Santa stuck his finger in our bread? The dog show. Do you guys watch the dog show? The dog show? Registered dogs as either sporting or non-sporting. The other groups so funny. lay off of those groups. So funny, so all I feel so bad for the dogs that lose. Like, I'm like, what the hell? Group, I like a competition where everyone wins. <laughs> and they're all winners. They're all dogs, so they're all winners, right? They are. They collected this as a couple of years ago. Why did you pick them up like that? Like field. Dude, that doesn't hurt him. Just oh evil mouse. Mauricio Vargas Hammer. These dogs are wonderful dispensers. Like, straight hair. Straight hair. Yeah. Look how well groomed they are. Yeah. First Bernie's breed is like Bernie's 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 He's certainly not dope, but I've trained him some things, and I'm trying to teach him how to spin around right now. Sit. Up. No. Up. Spin. Up. Spin. Up. No. Damn. Honestly, he sucks. Do you guys see the resemblance? Hey, that's a great little face, huh? Michelle Scott Hanley. The dog is from Fredericksburg, Texas. The dog's from all over the country today. Great fun. Twins. Michelle. Same Scott. colors and everything. Her husband, Michael Scott. Guess who's getting a shower today? Mr. Byrne, you're due for a little bath before we go to Thanksgiving. Let's go. Looking fresh, fresh for Thanksgiving. What if I just like showed up to Thanksgiving like this? What up? Full face of glam, but keeping it casual otherwise. <laughs> now I gotta go change. Josh went to go get the pies. We ordered pies from Village Inn. We love doing that. Josh actually got me hooked on them when I first met him. We got Mr. Roomba doing the vacuum, sorry it's kinda loud. But this is my outfit for Thanksgiving. I would, thought I would show it to you guys. Guy got this on an Etsy shop. I will link the shop I got it from below. Um, this is just a turtleneck sweater dress kind of thing from Old Navy. I've got some bay leaf yoga pants on. I want to say these are from like Charlotte Russe or something. But just little cute booties. And yeah, just waiting here and then we're heading over for Thanksgiving. I cannot believe it's already Thanksgiving. Does anyone else feel like 2017 just like flew the fuck by? Because I do. I've always wanted to put the camera on the Roomba. Roomba. and see what it looks like. I've been 
don't know, Shadow is a white German Shepherd because I always get so many questions about him. <laughs> Hi, look, it's Annalie. Hi guys. guys, you know what's so weird is so many of you guys see Annalie in public and say hi to her like all the time. Yeah. That happens to you a lot. There's a lot of cool yeah. people. That almost happens to you more yeah. than happens to me these days. Yeah. How are you? I was at a coffee shop with my friend and there were three girls. I don't know if you you probably watched this. If I, here. someone on here. Yeah. I might just be on the couch. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, it's going down. Oh, wow. oh, oh my gosh, jeez. Anyway. Wow. So there was three girls and I was walking by with my friend and as I was like checking out at my Starbucks, wherever I was, I like turned and there was three girls staring at me like intently like that. <laughs> and I was like, oh, hello. And I was like, is your name Annalise? <laughs> Yeah, they're like, they're gonna watch this. Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> I know they're gonna watch it. That's exactly the face they made. You must have a really rememberable face, though. I feel like I people know, barely have seen you. You haven't even been in that many videos, and like, I've been in three. People notice you a lot. Three main, and then four vlogs. Well, Annalie and I want to do Anastasia. Yes. Are I you down? Do that now. Okay, let's Tomorrow. let's do it this month, if not okay. like around Christmas or something. Let's do it. Oh, Rasputin! Yes. Oh, that's such a good one. Yeah. Guys, thumbs up if you want us to do it. Wow, <laughs> the Virgos cleaning. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprise, shocked. Surprise, I'm right? so shocked. It is Black Friday morning. Not even morning. It's not gonna lie. It's two. <laughs> I was up so late last night, and I thought I left my camera at my dad's house, but I just went in the car and found it. So I didn't document anything else last night, but Joel and Annalie came back over. But nothing else is really going on today, so I think I'm just gonna end this vlog here and upload it so that way it's like up for you guys immediately. Hi, what are you doing? Hi. <laughs> just checking my comments on my video from uh, Wednesday. Oh yeah? Yeah. Nice leg itching. Thanks. Well, I'm ending this vlog here so you can say bye, but are you filming? What are you filming today? Yes. When is this going up? I'm gonna try to edit, edit it today and put it up today. Oh, well, if you're watching this and you wanna see an interesting video, I'm gonna be putting a video up, or I have a video up called, What Happens to You After You Die. Crazy. Does, so when you're, so when you're like medically pronounced dead, what happens to like your consciousness or spirit or whatever you wanna call it? afterwards and, That's so and when does like consciousness end or does it end probably not what is happening <laughs> well dude i'm excited to see that that sounds crazy so it's so fun having josh do videos because i feel like i'm learning even more because of josh learning we will see you next time say bye josh we'll see you next time bye.